They're currently at $137.09 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $174 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, um, we're going to go through this week's winning stocks for the week of April 15th through 19th, 2024. And it's been an interesting week. The market really pulled back this week. We want to start by looking at the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ to get an idea of what the market was doing overall. And then we'll turn to the stocks on our watch list. So we see that for the last two weeks, or I should say the previous two weeks, the S&P 500 was already going down. But this week, it really dropped. It was a significant drop more than the other weeks. Remember my candlestick charts. Each candle represents a week. On the Dow, we see that the previous two weeks were significant drops. But this last week wasn't as significant. Came back up at the end of the week. But it still was a negative week on the Dow. And the NASDAQ had been moving in a sideways pattern. But man, it really tanked this week. Um, it was already going down, but I think some of what may have added to it is Israel was sending the missiles back to Iran. I'm not a news journalist, so... You may want to check that for yourself, but that seemed to have been what happened when things started dropping. But having said that, let's look at some of the things on my watch list that stayed consistent or may have even moved up, kept moving sideways, may have even moved up. And we're going to start with Weiss Markets. Notice Weiss Markets was a little up, a little down, but sort of a sideways pattern. It had been down here last week. Took a significant move up this week, but still hasn't broken out of that sideways pattern. It's a one star. Now, they have an earnings report dropping on May 6th or the week of. But remember what I say about an earnings report. It's almost like going to the casino. The report can come out good and the stock price can really jump up. And the earnings report can come out bad. And the stock price can really drop. And if you're not ready for that, you may want to not buy the stock until after the earnings report if you don't already own it. In any event, Weiss Markets is $64.49 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on where this stock can go up to but my own estimate based on PE ratios is that it can move up to $76 a share in the next 12 months next we have Chevron Corporation the gas station they are a one star. And I'm sorry, I, I break the stocks on my watch list down into three tiers. Three star, which is the most fundamentally sound. 
two stars, which is less fundamentally sound than the three stars, and one star, which is the least fundamentally sound, but still sounds enough to make the watch list. Well, Chevron is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on April 26. They're slightly moving up from a sideways pattern. Currently at $160 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $170.20 a share in the next 12 months. Next we have MGP Ingredients. They make alcohol, I believe, whiskey. In any event, they are a two-star. And they have an earnings report coming out on April 2nd. They're, they were moving sideways, dropped about a week ago. Then this last week, it's just a positive candle, but not much move up. In any event, this they're at $79.75 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $114.86 in the next 12 months. We have Cable One. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 2nd. They're currently at $395.61 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $569 in the next 12 months. Now notice they've been dropping for a while. And we don't know if they're still finished for the last three weeks they've sort of developed a sideways pattern this last week was a very small candle but a positive one we want to keep our eyes on this company and see when they start to move back up when they start to move back up from 395 to 569 we see they have a lot of room to go. National Research Corporation. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 7th. In any event, they're at $34.03 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for this one, but my estimate based on P-E ratio is that they can move up to $44.02 a share in the next 12 months. Now, notice they were almost sideways for a little while, but the previous two weeks, they took significant drops back. But let's look at what happened last week. We see that this stock started out here in the middle. And during the week, they either pushed all the way down and went back up and ended up back in the middle where they started. Or they went all the way up and then came all the way down and then push back up and end it in the middle where they started. In either event, in, in either case, we see that they ended where they started at, 
And if they went down and then pushed back up, that could be significant. We want to see what they do coming out into this next week. Next, we have CSG Systems International. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 1st. They're currently at $48.90 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they could move up to $66.44 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they had a huge push up a couple of months ago, then a down week, two more up weeks, then they started to go down again. And here they are here. But we see this week, they push down and push back up higher towards the end of the week. Next we have Malibu Boats. They are a three star fundamentally sound. They have an earnings report dropping on May 2nd. And they're currently at $34.48 a share. But Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $47.67 in the next 12 months. Now, these last two weeks, they took a bit of a drop. They haven't started moving back up yet, but I'm curious about what's going to happen this next week. Are they going to continue down, start to move sideways, or start to move back up? So this is one to keep your eyes on. Next, we have Starbucks Corporation. Now, Starbucks is actually not on my watch list. You see, I have no stars for it. I didn't find it fundamentally sound enough. However, Starbucks is a big name company. And I just felt since I've already dropped the analysis for the for this stock in the channel that and they had this little positive week last week I wanted to mention them here as well they have an earnings date or earnings report coming up April 30th or the week of they're currently at $87.61 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $97.79 a share in the next 12 months. Notice they took a couple of drops back the last couple of weeks. Then this last week, wasn't a huge move up, but we see a green candle, so they moved up this last week, especially when a lot of things were dropping. So they may be one to look at, so for all of you who are interested in Starbucks, I'll probably drop the analysis on the company in the description so that you could look at that as well if you're interested or inclined to buy and you want to know more about the company. The Simply Good Food Company. 
They are a two star. Currently at $33.17 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $40.45 a share in the next 12 months. Now, we see that they've been moving down for a while, moved sideways for about four weeks, then down further. Last week, a little move down, but only slight. Then this last week, they started to move back up. We want to see what they do going forward. United Health Group. They broke my heart this week. United Health Group is a three star health insurance company and they're currently at $501.13 a share but Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $534.87 a share in the next 12 months now, I'm going to drop the analysis on this in the description as well. I actually analyzed this company on Monday before the market closed. And I saw it was a good deal. But an earnings report was coming out on Tuesday. And I said the earnings report could be bad, the stock price could drop. So I didn't want to buy an option on it. The exact price at that time, you can find out in the analysis of the stock. I'll drop that in the description. But I believe it was easily under 40 four hundred and fifty dollars well may have been around four thirty in any event the earnings report dropped but to my surprise it turned out so good that the stock jumped like twenty four dollars a share in that day and continued to rise for the rest of this week. So if there's an earnings report that comes out good and I miss out on the benefits, I generally don't worry about that because I realize there'll be different opportunities every day. But this one, I have to admit, got under my skin. See that huge green candle there? So yeah, it was around $440 a share and it rose all the way up to 501. In any event, Humana is also in the healthcare industry. They are a two star currently at $328.33 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $381.28 a share in the next 12 months. They also rose this week. Not nearly as much. You see, it's it's a decent candle. It's not very big. But they rose this week as well. And at the tail end of the week, well, actually throughout the week, they were probably rising on the strength of United Health, which is in the same industry, healthcare. But 
Fortunately for me, I owned an options contract on Humana, which I mentioned in this month's option pick recently. And so, when United Health rose, Humana rose a little as well, and I did get some benefit from that rise with United Health. Now we have J and J Snack Foods. They are a two star. They have an earnings date dropping on May six of twenty twenty four. They're currently at a hundred and thirty seven dollars and nine cents a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $174 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they dropped the previous two weeks. This week they went down. Starting here, went down. Pushed back up to where they started at above. So, it's not a huge candle but they ended the week positive and there's someone to keep their eye on. Now guys, you should bear in mind all of these stocks that I suggest in this week's winning stocks except for the ones that don't have a star are stocks that are considered fundamentally sound of some fundamentally sound companies. But not only that, they are moving up from their annual low price. I don't just want a company, a, a stock of a company that's fundamentally sound. I want it moving up from its annual low price as well. Then we have English Markets. They are a two-star. They have an earnings date dropping, earning report dropping on May 2nd or later that week. Currently at $75.34 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can, excuse me, Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $92.43 in the next 12 months. Red Robin Gourmet Burgers. Now this is a very interesting stock. Notice they do not have a star next to them. It's not a fundamentally sound company. And I recently did the analysis on them. I'll drop it in the description. In any event, they're, not, they're a no star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 22nd. Now, they're currently at $6.40 a share, but Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $13.25, $13.25 a share in the next 12 months. That is over a hundred percent return just on the stocks. But imagine if you had an option and it moved up that much and how much you would make. Well, now we're in April of 24. So I wanted to see what the option would cost 
and an option on Red Robin with a $5 strike price and a December 20th expiration. Remember, this is just April and it would expire on December. Will only cost $235. That means you could buy one of the options for 235 You could buy two of them for 470 In any event, you could look in the analysis for Red Robin and see what I see with the company as far as how fundamental it is. But the thing that I find compelling about it is not necessarily how fundamental they are, but where um, Yahoo analyzes if the stock can move up to in the next 12 months. And if you feel that that may be unreasonable, you'll see the high and low stock prices of this company for the last five years if you go on the analysis and that will tell you whether it's unreasonable or not. C.H. Robinson Worldwide They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 1st and they're moving in a sideways pattern. They didn't go up much this week, but notice they really dropped back. And in a week where the SPY Dow and NASDAQ moved down, they managed to fight their way back up from where they pushed down during the week and even moved a little above that. Now, they're currently at $71.22 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $77.11 in the next 12 months, which isn't much room, but... RCI Hospitality. They are a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 8th. They moved down the two previous weeks. This week they moved down but pushed back up. It was only a slightly green candle. But they're at $51.64 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $113.50 a share in the next 12 months. And lastly, we have Johnson & Johnson. They are a three-star. Currently at $147.91 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $163.67 a share in the next 12 months. Now notice, they had two weeks where they really moved down. Significant moves down. But last week, a significant move down once again. But in the midst of everything happening and the markets dropping on the SPY, Dow, and NASDAQ, Johnson & Johnson actually pushed back up. Still a negative week, but only slightly. They really pushed back up. You see that long tail. So they really pushed back up. So Johnson & Johnson is one to keep your eye on. Look at them at the beginning of the week. See if they move, continue to go down. 
move sideways, or start on their climb back up. In any event, that's it for our this week's stock winners, guys. Like I said, the companies that I already have the analysis on, I will drop them into the description. And you guys ha have a great day. I'll speak to you in the next video.